Greetings, fellow Watford fans. Omar here, and it's time for another edition of the Yawns Friday Focus on Watford versus Blackburn Rovers. And the Friday Focus has come out of hibernation, and I can tell you that Watford will come out of hibernation tomorrow in a very difficult game against the Blackburn Rovers side that are in the top five or six at present, looking very good indeed as they get their season off to a good start. Watford too, even though they have had a little bit of a stutter on the road in these last four or five games, in fact, all five of their home of their road games they have lost, um, having still a good start to this season, win five Draw one, lost five. May not seem like a good record, but considering where Watford were uh, last season, this is actually a much better start from them after the first 11 games. They sit in ninth position right now on 16 points and still hovering around the playoffs in the very early going of this season. And Watford still don't have, and you know, still far away from having the full complement of their players. Angelo Ogbonna is going to be out for six to eight weeks. Um, TDB is still having some issues with his knee. That's going to be scanned and they're going to be doing some tests on his knee. And um, we are getting closer to Kevin Kevin making his debut for Watford and also Jeremy Ngakia returning another week or so for both of them. But of course, tomorrow is the big test, the 12.30 p.m. kickoff, the early afternoon kickoff for Watford at the Vic. And they've not done so well in these early afternoon games so far this season. So far, they've all been on the road to the best of my recollection, these early afternoon kickoffs. And Watford have lost all of them. They lost against Norwich in the early morning kickoff. They lost against Luton last weekend in the early morning kickoff as well. Those are the two that I can remember off the top of my head. And I do think that maybe if there was an early kickoff um, at the beginning of the season against Millwall, and they certainly took care of that one, but I think that was an early morning kickoff. So that's probably the only one they've won. And this is the first early morning kickoff to my memory that Watford will have at home this season. And home is where the heart is for the Hornets. Home is where the heart is as we go for Watford against Blackburn tomorrow. Watford coming off of the loss against Leeds, I think learned some valuable lessons from that game. They had a fighting spirit and a character about them that was readily identifiable on the pitch. Their purpose was there and the mission was clear. And they did accomplish a lot of things they wanted to, except for scoring the goal that would have given them a share of the points in this one. But I think that Watford can take what they did in the game against Leeds forward into this game tomorrow afternoon. Now, Daniel Backman, I think, will have a very good game tomorrow after the uh, really poor game that he had in the first half of the game this week. But I do think that he, as I said, will do well. And I think the team will do well. Although I'm thinking that Blackburn, as difficult as they are to play, we've had four wins of the last seven against them. But we've not been able to beat them in the Vic in the last couple of times out that we played there against them. And I think that it's going to continue that way tomorrow. I think this is going to end up as a 1-1 draw as my pre-match prediction. Now, again, Watford will have, I think, a very good bounce back game here. I think they'll play well against the Blackburn side that are going to be very physical to deal with, that are going to be very rugged and um, going to be a, a kind of a team that are going to keep pushing and pressing and prodding at Watford. And I think Blackburn will also, uh, a number of times, will be very much on the front foot in this contest. So this is going to be a tricky game for Watford against the Blackburn side that are up for it, the Blackburn side that won at the Vic last season, and the Watford side now, who look to end this score, this winning, this losing streak. Tom Cleverley, for the first time as a Watford manager, has lost back-to-back -back championship matches. And so that is something that Watford will want to change around in this game tomorrow. Quattro Bar expected to start, I would imagine, in this one. Daniel Jebison, no sign of him, a lack of confidence from the manager, uh, or at least a lack of confidence that he is playing uh, so far. He's not playing with confidence, I should say. And Tom Cleverley has made that publicly clear. And so Jebison may be back on the bench this weekend, but I don't expect him to start the game. And Bio, I don't think is going to be in the game starting at least tomorrow. I expect Barr to be the one who rightfully, I think, earned his starting place here after what he did on Tuesday night at Elland Road. He was absolutely spectacular. And I think that you've got to hit, run with your hot hand, ride your hot hand, and make sure that he, uh, in this case, Quadro Barr, gets the full glory of a start in front of the home faithful. Remember, Quadro Barr 
uh, won a squad in the last game that Watford played at the Vic against Middlesbrough before the international break. And now he scored, as I said, this past week against Leeds. So bring that man on the pitch from the start. And also let's see Everselli as well. I expect Everselli, Festi, to get involved early, to get started early. LaRucci, uh, LaRucci has been absolutely unbelievable the last game or so. Certainly this game against Leeds, he was brilliant. I'd like to see what he can do. And I really want to see a return to form for Musa Suzuko. I'm really concerned about him. He's not been quite the same player um, in a couple of the two or three of the games this season. I'd like to see him get back to his very, very good best, as we all know he can. As I said, Daniel Batman, I think, will bounce back uh, tomorrow. And I expect him to play well. And the team will play well. But as I said, I think it's a 1-1 draw tomorrow between Watford and Blackburn. And don't forget, you can listen to the brand new episode of the Yuan's Watford FC podcast. Just click the link that you see in the comments section of this particular video. Right beneath where the information is in this video, you'll see a link to the latest podcast edition where I talk about Daniel Batman and offer a defense for him as well. This has been the Yuan's Friday Focus.